Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to develop a image retrieval project in MATLAB using day planning. So before that I will show you what are the uh, data sets we needed to do this image retrieval projects. So please listen. So first I am opening the folder which contains the data set image retrieval. So here, if you open the weather folder, you can see the three folder named as one, two, three. So if you open the first folder, you can see the sum of the images. It's represent the lightning, and the second folder contains it as the cloud images, and third it has the sunny images. So these are the data sets images I have taken to train the deep neural network. So these are the testing images. So randomly I am checking some images. So when you, when you give any one of the query images, so based upon the matching performance, it will rank the images and it will produce the retrieved images. So this is the setup. Now I am going to open the MATLAB. I am going to open the program, go to open. then go to the folder image retrieval then open the program file new. then it will open in the matlab command window uh, uh, editor window then you just run the program by clicking the green color button now it's running the program it will take some time to run because it extracting the all the features from the data set images so it will take some time so before that i will explain you how i have writing this program so first we need to set the root of the matlab so where the data set folder is there you just set the path for the data set c user may be in desktop 2090 image retrieval weather the number of training images 5 i have taken the number of training images as 5 then i am displaying the training images then i am fixing the layers first layer is the input layer then second layer is the middle layer which contains convolution reload pooling again convolution reload pooling convolution reload pooling here I have taken three set of layers, deep neural layers, that means convolution ruler and max play. And the final layer is the output layer. This contains it has fully connected softmax and the classification layer. Finally, I combined all the three layers: so input layer, middle layer, and the output layer. Then training after. Then I am going to train the network. For that, I am providing the training options, number of epochs, and the learning rate then we are going to train the network so not to train the network we need to have the training data and the layers and the options so after training we need to extract the features from the training data that is the argument image data set and the activation if we provide the activation uh, we can get the we can extract the features how it's land from the data set images so here the extracted features of all the database images so the train now the training is completed now i am going to check our input we are going for testing so input image read the input image display the image then there is a folder named testing so inside testing some of the image is there first it check all the images and extracting the data of all the images for that we need to read the all images first then again we need to extract the features of the all test images here we can getting the feature of the test images then we need to find out the structural similarity of the test images and the data set images so here you can find the structural similarity of input query image and the corresponding data set image then finally we are storing it in a variable all the 
similar structural similarity score values then we are writing it as a descending order then based upon the descending order we are retrieving the images from the data set folder which are the images is closely matched to the query images or input images then we are displaying the retrieved images here so now the training has completed here you can see the number of epochs 10 and the training accuracy is 100 now it is asking to enter the input image here you have to provide test 2.jpg so this this is the query images which we giving for input now you can see the retrieved image names these are the name of the images which is closely matched to the input image so so actually this is our query image so this is our retrieved image so first image is the query image this is the corresponding retrieved image initially the cloud images uh, coming first after that the lightning image after that the sun image so now again i am again once again i am checking this program i am trying to check with another uh, input data here we have to provide us test2 dot test1 dot jpg then put enter so sorry now also i given test2 instead of test1 sorry i should have given the test1 dot jpg because already we checked this test2 So anyway, this is the query image, this is the retrieved images. Like once again, I am checking the program. Once I am checking the program. Test 1.jpg Now you can see the name of the retrieved images. Now you can see the retrieved images and the query images. This is the input image or query image. These are the retrieved images. So the query image is lightning images. So retrieved images also initially it's lightning images are coming after that sunny images and cloud images are coming. Again I'm checking with another data that means test3.jpg. Now we can see the difference. So this is the our sun image, this is the query image, this is the retrieved image. So actually it's not at all retrieving that much accuracy. Anyway, it's uh, doing something better. So like that we can we can provide we can provide any image and we can retrieve the images so this is the this is the program how to develop the image retrieval based upon neural deep neural network or deep planning so here the testing images is there this is the random some images whether this is the training images so based upon training the features are extracted then it's matched with the data set images then based upon the structural similarity score we are descending the in images and so that it will retrieve all the images so when you provide the query images so what are the what are all the images are matching with the query images based upon it retrieving the images from the data sets so thanks for watching if anything you can contact me uh, in the email or whatsapp thanks for watching thank you we will see you next video thank you